As Season 5 approaches Fortnite in the upcoming days, a lot of players are understandably scrambling, scavenging, and even searching for how to get the most amount of XP in a quick time. Now in these past seasons in Fortnite Chapter 2, players are typically rewarded with high level cosmetic items. In Season 4, we are given variants such as the foil skins, gold skins, and even holographic variants of the Marvel skins in the Battle Pass, with the highest reward being granted at level 215. Now for me personally, I play Fortnite casually all the way up until the final days of each season, and I spend the final few days utilizing my own personal methods that typically garner me over 100 levels in less than a day. Now obviously it would be beyond unfair of me not to share these efficient methods with you all. This way of course, not only myself, but you as well can receive these desired cosmetic rewards that are so sought after. So we're going to be going over every method that I typically use at the end of each season that again, like I stated, gives me typically around 100 levels in less than a day of playing. So do not worry, do not panic, I know a lot of people are lower levels, even below 100, that are trying to get to level 215 within these next few days before Season 5 is released, and I can almost guarantee that these methods that I'll be sharing with you guys will allow you to reach that level in no time. So let's go ahead and hop right into this first method. Now this first method is inarguably probably the most efficient of this video in regards to the most amount of XP in the shortest amount of time. Now the only downside, which is honestly pretty big of a downside, is that this is not a long long-term efficient method. You can only do it just a couple of times, it's not something you can repeat over and over again. Basically, once you've completed this method 100%, it's not possible just to repeat it and keep getting this amount of XP. However, you can be getting around 200,000 XP, or rather a quarter of a million XP, in pretty much one game, if not less. So let's talk about this method, and obtaining the gold coins that are scattered throughout the map in Fortnite. Every single season as time passes, gold coins will appear around the map, and at the very end of each season, there's a combined total of 10 gold XP coins. Now the best part about this is that it really takes like 15 minutes at most to find all of these coins and collect them, and and obviously it doesn't take much effort at all. The best method of doing this is actually getting into a helicopter, flying around to these locations, collecting the gold coin, and then moving on to the next one. And throughout this match you'll be leveling up non-stop, like it's almost like you level up every single minute just by collecting these golden XP coins. Now on screen you guys can see pretty much a map that actually lays out where every single gold XP coin is located. I strongly recommend you come back to this video once you hop into a game and follow this exact route. Pretty much just collect all of these gold XP coins again in a a helicopter and then just after doing that well pretty much have completed this method and as i stated unfortunately this isn't really viable long term i mean after you've collected all the gold xp coins one time you can't repeat this over and over again that's the only downside about this method but basically analytically this is definitely the quickest way to receive the most amount of xp in fortnite now method two that i use at the end of each season is actually completing every single challenge that we are given now challenges pretty much everyone knows what these are and a lot of people unfortunately overlook this or even underestimate the amount of XP that you can be receiving from these. So a lot of people don't even bother with this. So basically what I do at the end of every single season is I'll go over to the challenges tabs, look at a few that I really want to complete in one match. It, on average I say I can complete maybe three to five challenges in one game alone. I'll hop into a team rumble match because obviously in team rumble once you get eliminated you respawn over and over and over again and there's far less pressure than trying to complete challenges in a solo match where people are just going to non-stop grief you. So once you're in the Team Rumble match and you've figured out the few challenges you want to complete, just literally spend all your effort and time and focus on completing, again, like three to five challenges in that game alone. After completing these challenges, you can actually just go ahead and leave the match because believe it or not, your progress will be saved and then just make your way on to the next three or four challenges. Now, the best part about waiting to the very end of each season to do this is that every single challenge is unlocked. Unfortunately, challenges are unlocked on a time basis. So at the start of season five, for example, only one week of challenges are even unlocked and then every week a new set of challenges will then of course be open in public to players. Whereas if you wait to the very end like I typically do, I can literally complete a mind-blowing amount of challenges in one day alone. Now this method again is probably going to be the most reliable because again, unlike XP coins, there's not like 10 of them and then once you complete it, it's over with. There is a countless amount of challenges that you guys can complete. And honestly, this is where you're gonna be getting the majority and bulk of your XP from all of the methods in this video. Granted, the golden XP coins are probably the most time efficient. These challenges and the method that I shared about completing them is by far going to be probably the most reliable. And if you were to pass up on any of these methods, this is the one that you would not wanna pass up on. 
Now, once you have collected all golden XP coins and completed every single challenge, you should already be pretty close to the goal that you're trying to reach, whether that be level 100 or even level 215. Now at this point you're probably wondering what is left, and now we're moving over to the punch cards. Now punch cards basically act as sort of like a mini version of challenges. Challenges of course, you can go to your challenge tab, see what needs to be done, and then complete that. Punch cards are a bit more repetitive challenges, and I know this doesn't make too much sense, but basically there's punch cards in the game where you need to like maybe collect 15 fish by going fishing. There's other challenges like collecting and harvesting a thousand materials. What you can do is you can literally just go through your punch cards tab, just like challenges, find one or two or even three that you really want to focus on and then go into a team rumble match and literally don't pay mind to anybody just complete these punch cards back to back to back now the cool thing about punch cards is they actually have more than one level and what i mean by that whereas obviously when you complete a challenge that's it the challenge is completed you've been given your xp and that's about it whereas punch cards it's a bit of a different system so to make it a bit easier for you guys to understand we'll use the example of catching fish this is a literal actual punch card in the game so there's going to be about 5 stages to this punch card. The first stage, which is going to give you about 15,000 XP, is going to be to collect let's say 10 fish. Once you've actually caught 10 fish in game, you're now given 15,000 XP as you typically would be with any other challenge. And then you can keep going to complete the stage 2 of this punch card, which might be to catch 50 fish. And then of course you're given another 15,000 XP, stage 3 might be to catch 100 fish, so on and so forth. Most challenges I believe have 5 or 6 levels to each of them. And again, you're given 15,000 XP for each of those levels, and at the very end you're given a bonus amount of XP for completing the entire punch card. So if you complete a full punch card, you complete all of the levels, you can expect to receive around 75,000 to 100,000 XP. And if I'm being completely open and honest with you guys, punch cards are very, very repetitive and tedious, but honestly for the amount of XP you're given, they cannot be denied that they are one of the best methods used to get a ton of XP in Fortnite. So, so far in the video, we've covered my first method I always go to, which is collecting all of the golden XP coins. The second method that I go to right after that is completing all of the challenges. And at this point, I typically have already reached the level I'm trying to obtain. However, if I have not, that is when I then resort to punch cards, which pretty much always push me over the edge and allow me to receive that final bit of XP needed in order to unlock these high level rewards. Whereas in this case, will probably be the holographic variant of the Wolverine skin. Now, if you're watching this video and somehow, some way, you've completed all of the challenges, all of the punch cards that you're trying to complete, and you've even collected all of the golden XP coins, yet you still have not reached your goal, which I don't even know if that's possible, there is one final method that I find to be very, very useful. And I made a video on this method, actually, believe it or not, a few weeks ago. And this method alone is actually used by the highest level Fortnite player in the world, who I believe actually got like level 500 in like literally a few weeks, who goes by Talican. So let's go ahead and talk about that method. So this method method is actually going to be utilizing this concept. So you want to go ahead again start in Team Rumble and we're actually going to be landing at this small hill right over by Caddy Corner. This is kind of like the superhero vault area where everything is glassed and cased in. So we want to start off by opening the chest and ammo boxes here. You guys are probably wondering like what is this doing for us? Well if you did not know, every time you open a chest, an ammo box, a produce box, supply crate, so on and so forth, you actually receive a ton of XP. Now a lot of people don't know this because this is something everyone just does blindly. You don't think about it. When you play Fortnite, you land, you open your chest, and you go about your day trying to get eliminations in a victory royale. But what people don't realize is you actually do receive a lot of XP by opening a chest. So we pretty much are going to be trying to maximize the amount of chests, ammo boxes, and produce boxes we can open in a short period of time. And this route and method I'm sharing with you guys is just that. So up here you guys can see again, we're pretty much opening all of the ammo boxes and chests that are located here. Make sure you don't break some of the chests like I did on accident. This is actually taking away from the amount of xp you can be receiving and also up here if you guys did not already collect this there's going to be a golden coin inside of one of these glass cases so make sure you do go ahead and collect that although you can only get it once it's still going to play a huge part and a significant role in leveling you up so at this point you probably should have been able to open anywhere from three to six chests and for ammo boxes anywhere from about four to ten plus which translates to a ton of xp believe it or not and I know this method seems so silly and doesn't really make sense, but I promise you guys, this is the greatest method ever in Fortnite for leveling up. 
Now, next, what we want to do is we actually want to go ahead and use this rift. Now, from here, you pretty much just want to go ahead and glide down over to Caddy Corner, go into the exact location that I do. We're going to start at this gas station, and there's actually going to be two chests at the top on average. So, we're going to open these chests, and then, of course, you can open any ammo boxes or produce boxes that are located on the upstairs as well. And then, we're going to go ahead and drop down to the ground area of the gas station. There's going to be a couple more produce boxes and ammo boxes, and possibly a chest as well if you're lucky, located down here. Now next we're going to go over to these picnic tables. There's pretty much always going to be a chest right here so open that. There actually sometimes might be a few produce boxes on the picnic tables as well as an ammo box. So go ahead and open all of those as well. And then we're now going to run into this coffee shop area. This is going to have a ton of produce boxes. About 4 to 8 on average. So go ahead and open those and collect a ton of XP from that. And do also make sure that you are in fact consuming or rather gathering some of these consumable items. This way of course when the storm does close in as it inevitably does on team rumble we will have some healing options for ourselves and at the top of that coffee shop there's also going to be a chest you can open so we're now going to make our way to the main part of caddy corner you can collect any of these chests that are on top of these like beam areas i'm not entirely too sure what these are called but they're typically going to host a chest or two so go ahead and collect chests off of all of these you can then make your way into the main building at caddy corner collect the ammo boxes or open them rather open all the chests that are going to be located here I think on average there's about 4 or 5 ammo boxes located in here, plus 3 to 4 chests. And pretty much at this point we've probably been playing the game for 3.5 minutes, and you guys can look at the bottom of the screen to see how much XP we've already gained. We started off at the very very beginning of level 66, and we're already nearing level 67, we're over halfway there. So now that you've cleared out that building for its chests and ammo boxes and produce boxes as well, you want to go over to this neighboring RV. It's going to be right outside of the building. There's typically going to be an ammo box outside of it you want to open. And inside of here, there's going to be a chest. And even sometimes there's going to be a lot of other produce boxes that are hidden behind the couch or the TV itself. Next, we're going to go over to the vault. And the vault obviously is pretty much going to have a 100% guaranteed chest spawn in here. So open this chest. And on top of the vault as well, there's going to be an ammo box, which I already had collected. And now lastly, we're going to go into this like white crate container and inside of here there's actually going to be a lot of produce boxes that's going to give us of course a lot of xp so run right inside of over here you guys are going to see there's going to be about three to six produce boxes laying on the ground with a chest right beside it on top of the washer and dryer and then on the other side there's going to be a couple more produce boxes that you can open to gain more xp and we've essentially cleared out all of caddy corner and the hill that we landed at to receive a ton of xp from opening the chests and ammo boxes now at this point you can actually leave the match like we literally spent five minutes collecting all these chests ammo boxes and produce boxes and we actually gained a ton of xp now you can also play the game out if you'd like if you want to spend some time trying to get some cool clips or maybe you just want to play the quick match of team rumble then you can feel free to do so however it's not going to give you a huge boost in regards to xp for me personally i just wanted to see how much xp we actually gain from that little five minute effort of going through the route collecting these chests ammo boxes and so on and so forth so i let the game play out to see our match total of xp after Afterwards. And I saw that it was actually nearly 25,000 XP. I think at the time it was 21,990. So there you guys have it. That's pretty much going to wrap it up for today's video. We talked about all of the methods that I use that always allow me to pretty much level up very quickly in the final days of each Fortnite season. We discussed the golden XP coins, challenges, punch cards, then talked about Talokan's method of harvesting all these produce boxes, ammo boxes, chests, so on and so forth, and pretty much the most efficient route for doing so. Now, if you guys enjoyed today's video or found that helpful, a like would be beyond appreciated down below. And of course, on the contrary, if you genuinely disliked today's video, then feel free to leave a dislike as well. And if you're new around here and would like to see more Fortnite content like this in the future, feel free to subscribe as well as turning on those post notifications. Nonetheless, my name is Indie Gamer Tag. Thank you all for watching today's video, and I'll see you tomorrow. Adios.